Okay, so here we have ourselves two solder joints that are done typically incorrect. So right here, we have our one solder joint, which is looking like a donut rather than a Hershey's Kiss. And the center is sticking up, the lead. And this is typical where the lead didn't get touched with the tip of the solder iron while it was being prepared. So the solder never stuck to it and never climbed up it to make it look like the Hershey's Kiss. So that one's a real easy fix. So all you do is tin that solder iron, get that tip covered in solder. You're gonna touch it. Make sure you're touching both surfaces this time, both the solder and the lead. Add solder to the other side, and there. Now you have a conical shape matches it. And in this one, the same thing. The lead got hot, but the copper ring did not. So once again, tin the tip. Tinning, you remember what this is. I'm gonna do it the long stretch the hard way. We're gonna touch both. One one thousand, two one thousand. Oh, I'm gonna move. There we go. So both melted. I'm gonna add a little bit just because sometimes it adds flux. And then boom. All right, so now it looks like Olaf. There's too much there. I had too much on the tip of my solder iron. So now we know we had enough heat. All right, so here's an example of what sometimes happens. It's not the biggest thing. It's not the worst thing to happen. But if you notice, 10K is right here. We have our brown, black, so it's 10 plus zero times 1,000, that's 10,000. You look over here, this one says 10K R8, but if you look here, it has green, blue, orange. So this one is not the same as 10K. This one is different numbers. I don't remember what green is right now. So we need to take that out. You might have done this. So the first thing you're gonna do, I'm going to knock this excess solder off gonna melt it just like we did before we're gonna tap it and send the debris onto the table and see that almost fully clear it looks like a donut it's almost ready to come out same thing the other side heat melt tap heat melt tap so this is just about ready to go so this side here I got it loose enough where I could just pull it through my fingers the other side is still soldered in a, a little bit so what you're gonna use is you're gonna take this, these pliers. These are needle nose. See, they're not cutter points. These are your cutters. Okay, you see, it's completely different design at that. This one's for holding, this one's for trimming. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that piece that we're taking out. You're gonna grab it and very gently, you're gonna pull up and you're gonna let it, the point pivot it. You're gonna flip it over and then, as you're pulling on it, you're gonna heat it up a little bit and poof, just like that. She released, came out. So now that's good. And now we have to make sure that those holes are open so we get the right one. This one, fortunately, is fully open. So as we work on these, we are going to have issues. We're gonna be sitting soldering parts that are really close together. These two are good. They look like Olaf. They are not soldered in well. And to prove it, the other side has the same issue. Okay, it looks like Olaf got impaled. So what we're gonna do is show you how we could repair these. One of the best parts of the project. So as we go to fix this, we can take the hot solder iron. Sometimes we could just touch it and it'll melt and we'll get to move it apart. This one worked. It might not. That time it did. So now they're separate. They're no longer touching. Another way you could do this, since there's so much solder, I would rather do this anyway. I'm going to take the solder iron. I'm going to turn it sideways. I'm going to melt this piece right here, this Hershey's Kiss. And see that my tinning's no good anymore. So I got to retin the tip. Add a little solder, make it smoky. I'm going to touch this and I'm going to tap it on the table. And you can see the solder just broke free and it landed on the table. Okay, there's the excess. We could just heat it up, take it off, then do the same thing to the top. And now, as I do this, I can do two things. 
I could repair these and take them out, or I could touch them up, solder them, and make it look better and have no short circuit. So a little bit of tinning action, touch the two together, add solder, boom, done. Since there's solder there, it happens really fast now. Okay, so that is a repaired capacitor.